um, Leopard and Lace Boutique, and I just wanted to go over um, the retreat my sister hosted. Um, I kind of co-hosted with her. I don't know. I really just said I was helping my sister out, but somewhere the long, along the way, I got deemed co-host. I don't really know how that happened because it was never named. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to go over several things with y'all. First of all, I feel like it was very successful and I just want to give a shout out to my sister, the Crafty Heifer, because she nailed it. Like this was an idea she came up with, I think it was about last August, September of last year. And um, she asked what I thought about doing it and I told her I think it would be fantastic. She said at that point, um, nobody had hosted um, a retreat for the diamond painting community. So um, she wanted to do it. And I think before she actually announced it, Rachel Ray announced that she was doing one in Ireland. And um, of course, knowing that not everybody could go, Marissa still decided to go ahead and follow through. And I'm so glad she did. Um, we were sad for Rachel that hers ended up getting canceled and it's kind of put off until further notice. And hopefully she's able to do hers. But anyways, um, back to the retreat. So I just wanted to go over the swag bags. I wanted to go over the blessing boxes, um, sweet gifts that we got from different people. And, um, just say that I am so thankful that I was able to be a part of it. I know that it was, um, really needful for some. There were some people that, um, I think that it was just a place that they could come and they could rest, rest and relax. And um, I'm thankful that we were able to be a part of that. We were able to have it down here in Texas. So um, without any further ado, let me go ahead and go over swag bag stuff. So this is the actual swag bag that we gave them when they came in the door. Um, we had them set up on a table and I'm not sure if any of you seen pictures or not, but we had them lined up on the table. And um, we will be doing, I will be doing a slideshow. I will be sharing pictures that I took. And so um, they were set up on the table. So this is the original bag that we had them in. And she wanted to go ahead and get canvas bags so that they were reusable totes that people could use um, to have them. And then every person got a shirt. This is the design she chose for this year, the Lone Star Retreat. And we have the year 2020. Um, we wanted to make sure if she chose to do it again that we had the years um, following on there. So I think she has decided she is going to do one for next year. And, you know, she's getting things together already, starting to think about that. So that's to be announced. But anyway, so each one of our sponsors are on the back here. And I just kind of want to give a shout out to each one of them. So... The Crafty Mint, and I will be showing um, swag, So, and I'll tell you who they're from. So, Crafty Mint, Storm Sister Studios, The Crafty Heifer, Leopard and Lace Boutique, which is my shop, uh, Dearly Crafted, Crafts with Crashly, Creative Mayhem, and then we had an additional sponsor um, jump in at the last minute. We had one that was not able to fulfill um, what they said they were gonna do. And so we had one jump in at the last minute and we are so, so very thankful for that. And um, it's actually the sparklers. And so, um, so excited for that. So let me, I was gonna have this, sorry. I know that was terrible. Um, I was gonna have them pulled up who it was because I cannot remember right off the bat and I'm gonna have to look at my sister's post. I'll, I'll tell it in a minute. Anyways, okay, the rest of the swag bag. So each person got a diamond painting, first of all. So the Crafty Mint um, gave these to uh, Jennifer DP Addictions, I think is the name of her channel. I'm sorry if I misquote anything, y'all correct me down in the comments below. But they gave her a palette. I believe some of them she... Um, used for uh, their adoption. Some of them she gave away, people just had to pay shipping, and I think that's a fantastic deal. Um, but she saved some of them for the retreat that nobody had seen. And so each person got to choose one. We had them lined up, and so they got their swag bag. They got to choose a diamond painting they wanted, 
and I got the owl. So it is super, super cute. It's like a stained glass window with the owls. Um, then uh, Creative Mayhem gave us these um, little condiment cups and you can actually take and slide this on your lap pad and put your trash drills in here, which I think is genius. I would not have thought of that, but it's genius. And then um, Dearly Crafted gave us these earplugs just in case it got too noisy and we were tired and wanted to sleep. So these came from Dearly Crafted. Um, the sparklers. And these are the original sparklers and they are beautiful. So I can't wait to play with these. I haven't got to use any sparklers other than an AB. I've only done two diamond paintings. So I've done this cow behind me and then I've done Who You Say I Am by DAC and it was a fantastic canvas. Um, the ABs were beautiful and so I really enjoyed working on that diamond painting. Um, the next, thing that was in here was from Storm Sister Studios. And Marissa chose uh, the Yellow Rose of Texas. So each one of us got these tins and they are for um, your wax or drills. They did give us um, pink wax for each one of us in here. And that is Storm Sister Studios. Uh, Jane and Dawn own that. And so these tins are beautiful. Um, and then they put it in these little organza bags, which I thought was very, very sweet of them. And the other thing that we got in our bag were these, um, oh, what are they called? Uh, sticky pads? I don't know. It's for you to put your um, tray on so that you don't spill it or it doesn't slide off or, you know, mishaps happen. I haven't been diamond painting very long and that's happened to me already several times. Maybe because I'm an amateur, I don't really know. But these are really cute. I got a peach one, maybe like a peachy coral color. And so that's it in a swag bag. Um, but we knew that there were other goodies coming and we had asked everybody that wanted to, to bring a gift to share. Some of them got them donated, some of them made them, um, and some of them went and bought stuff. So the first one are these color changing cups. So. Uh, Marissa and I done the names when she came over for Amelia's first birthday party. We sat down that weekend and we cut out everybody's name on the Cricut and we got them put on everybody's cup. So everybody got a cup from Marissa and a coaster. So she made a homemade coaster and it's a Texas themed coaster. Um, mine has an armadillo on the front and there's some um, Paisley designs on the back. So this is a coaster for the cup so that you don't have any uh, condensation on the table when you're diamond painting, which I thought was a brilliant idea. Um, Jennifer was able to get these and she gave everybody one of these. However, at the end of the uh, retreat, she came to me and gave me a couple of extra ones because I'm new to diamond painting. I don't have a big stash of, of anything really. And um, I'm sorry about that. I should have had it on silence. Um, but she gave each person one of these and she was kind enough to give me the extra ones. Um, so she told me she wanted me to put it in my beginner stash. So that was very kind of her and I want her to know I really appreciate it. I know that I said thank you when she gave them to me, but um, thank you again, Jennifer. Amanda made us hand sanitizer. So each one of us got this from her and I thought that was very kind. We got our own to keep at our table you know, put in our cars, whatever we want to do with it. And so I appreciate that. That is from Amanda Stokes. Um, then the diamond lady, Sharon gave each one of us a little rubber ducky that's a cowboy. So these were precious. So I know I have a grandbaby that's probably going to end up taking this for me and that's okay. Um, let's see. I made everybody, um, little goodies. So I done these and these, and I just uh, cut everything out on my Cricut and put them together. Um, in here, I made sure I done everybody. I printed extra vinyl stickers that are just the same Texas theme that we went with the retreat. And so that's a vinyl sticker that I print and cut with my Cricut. And then I made everybody one of these. So I just done a washi sample on one of these uh, bobbins that you use for uh, cross stitching uh, to put your thread on. 
So I used that and then I made a little charm. I don't know if you can really see it or not. I'm not sure if I'm in frame, but um, I just done a little, I done wire wrapping on the three beads and then put a star on here, Texas themed. So each person got one of those from me. I made um, homemade bath salts. You can use them um, with a tea bag and you can do a tea bag bath or you can just use them as just plain bath salt and just relax when you get home. Um, then I made everybody um, one of these and they're really cute when the uh, sequins are on there, but they've got sequins down in the bottom. It's just a pen and a notepad. I didn't know if anybody would want to take notes or anything like that. If they would want to take numbers, you know, so I wanted to make sure I had those for everybody. Um, and then Tina, which was one of the kindest people ever, she gifted us each a brown bag and it had a water-based polycrylic. So you can use these for two things. You can use these for your diamond painting pens to glaze them, or you can seal your diamond paintings with them. I've not tried either one. Um, Crashly did have a pen uh, class for us, so we all made pens. I sold two of the ones I made already. I have more of the cane, so I'm gonna make myself one with the flowers that I made. And then I made this one with just a three-dimensional uh, Christmas tree on it. I still have not finished it. I've sanded it, but I have not glazed it yet because I, we just ran out of time. So she was kind enough to give us these and she gave us a bag with a bunch of candy in it. I've already eaten some of mine. Shh, don't tell anybody. So anyways, the polycrylic uh, water base um, glaze. Okay, that's not that's not all she done. Before she left, under my sister's diamond painting, she was hoping that we would not find it until she had already left. But she left me a light pad, a Cricut light pad. And I think that was so kind and so generous of her. And I just wanna say thank you, Tina. If you see this video, I want you to know this is one of the kindest gestures and I appreciate your kindness and your generosity. And I know you're gonna be blessed because you blessed each one of us. Um, I think there's several of us that were talking how touched we were just by the, the thoughtfulness that went into your gifts. And then for you to turn around and give me a Cricut light pad, it just shows who you are. And I want you to know that I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Okay, the next thing um, was this. Uh, Dawn Marie made these for each one of us. So she made us um, leather keychains with conchos and these, everybody got different colors. I got gold and black and I think it is just fantastic. And so she said when she was making these from her sliding the bead on these um, pieces of leather, she literally had blisters. So thanks Dawn Marie for the pain that you went through to make us these. And then she had each one of us one of these uh, face masks made. So they say Crafting Addict. It's got a diamond on it. And then it says Retreat 2020. And they are just adorable. They also have the sliders on here. So you can adjust it to fit your ears. And they are very, very comfortable. So um, she had them in these little uh, organza bags. And then that wasn't all. She gave each one of us a cover minder. And that's not all. We were sitting over there and she gifted me different placers. So I think there's a three, a five, is it a nine or 10? I'm really not sure because I'm new to diamond painting. And then a straightener. So she was extremely kind. She was actually at our table and I got to enjoy her company all weekend long. Um, so that was super, super fun. The next thing we got, I know it's not over, were the diamond painting pens. Um, and so there's several of us that brought, brought clay to use. So, um, some of us mixed our clays up and just chose different ones. Um, like I said, I did make the cane. I don't have the pens to show. They'll be in the pictures. You'll see them. 
Um, but I do plan on making uh, myself one of those pins as well. And then I just wanted one for Christmas. I don't really think I'm going to do a diamond painting that's a Christmas themed one or whatever, but I might. And then Marissa asked me to host a class. And so I wanted to do cover minders. And I wanted to do some that were generic that people could literally go to the store, pick up the stuff and make them. Um, and so I made everybody one of these tins. There again, it's the same Texas that we used for each one of the, um, the goodies. And then I cut out and put everybody's name. So I personalized everybody's tin. And then inside of it, um, we gave them stuff to make their own cover minders. And so I have, hopefully I can do this, a pink bunny. And I know there's people in the diamond painting community that are selling these. Um, then I found these flare buttons at Hobby Lobby. And I don't know if this is going to be the best angle or not. But um, a flare button. And then we just put magnets on it from the dollar store. And then I found these adorable acrylic deer. Hopefully you can see them. Um, through one of my scrapbooking people on Instagram and I ordered us some of these. So everybody got different colors of those. I have a light pink and a dark pink. So here are my cover minders in my tin. Um, and then that wasn't it. If that wasn't enough, y'all, we done a blessing box. And so Mariska asked everybody that wanted to or that chose to, to participate in a blessing box. And every single person that attended the event done a blessing box. And so um, she gave us prompts each month to pick up. There were a couple of items. I had a really hard time finding the windmill. And so I kind of just um, done something different. And I don't even know that I put a number on that one because Jennifer had a hard time finding the numbers for a couple of them. So anyways, um, this was my blessing box. So I wanted to share with you what I got in the blessing box. So I got a pair of socks. I got this little um, handbag clutch, whatever you want to call it. And I went ahead and I finished it while I was there. Um, I also got um, a notebook and I finished it, but I give it to my daughter because she loved it when I came home. Then she chose a windmill. And so we got these um, windmills that you can hand paint yourself. So this will be an upcoming craft that I may do on my YouTube channel. Um, I got a pen and I believe it is, it's just a regular pen. Okay, so it's just a ballpoint pen. I didn't know if it was a, for place and drills or not, but it's just a, a regular pen. Uh, she gifted me one of these little Starbucks cover minders. So that was another cover minder to go in my tin. One of the prompts were a cactus. And this is the cactus that I got. And I have succulents all over my house. So this is just going to fit in with the rest of mine. Um, unfortunately, I'm one of those people that can even kill cactus. So it's kind of embarrassing, but my kids survived. So I guess that's the most important thing. Yeah, if your kids can survive and succulents can't, it's okay. Or they're really tough kids, maybe. Maybe that's it. I'm not really sure. Anyways, she did gift me the cow diamond painting. I have it up there. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I had somebody make me that frame and then I painted it, distressed it with a walnut uh, stain and I love it. So I have a daughter that I think I'm gonna gift this to um, so that she can have fun with diamond painting. Um, something else that she gave me was a business card holder and it's a really pretty uh, aqua or teal wood grain effect on it. So it is really pretty. It kind of matches the clutch. Uh, she gave me a cowbell. And I was a twinsie with somebody. Let's see who was it. It was Melissa B. She also got a cowbell. We got different colors, but we got the exact same cowbell. And so we got to take twinsie pictures. I got a cow boot, cowboy boots. Cow boots? Cowboy boots. And I got um, this uh, wax warmer. And so it is super, super cute. And of course, anybody that lives in Texas loves cowboy boots. And then um, she also gave me wax. And there's probably enough to go in my other warmer as well. So I got two warmers. This one is, um, it's a 
horseshoe with the Texas star. And so that was my blessing box. And I'm telling you, I feel like I was so spoiled there this weekend because we left, there was so many things. Okay, and then, if that's not enough, we done a raffle and we um, also done a monster egg hunt. Now, I didn't get any of the monster egg uh, eggs. I didn't. There were three of them that we had and I did not win any of those. And um, we had a sponsor that came in at the last minute and gave us three gift baskets with some amazing diamond painting stuff in there. There was one large one and it was actually a reusable tote. It had, I think, a light pad. It had a pen blank. It had all kinds of goodies. I don't even know what was in it. Um, I wasn't over there when he was unpacking it, but it was full of some amazing stuff. And the really neat thing is um, it was Billy that won it and he had actually talked to Michael um, and told him about the retreat. And then Michael said, how do I get in touch with the, the sponsor or the owner, the owner, the host so that I can get in? And he, I think he actually wanted to come, but we had already paid for the deposit. We had already paid our dues and nobody else could come. And so that was sad at the last minute that, you know, he wasn't able to come. And so hopefully next year he's able to come. But Michael blessed us so much, gave us those gift baskets. And Billy actually was the one that won the big one. Then there was one that had um, a Christmas theme to it. So I think it had Christmas cards and some keychains and some jewelry. And they were all diamond painting little doodads. So, oh, I think there were Christmas cards as well. So that was a super cute one. And then there was one that was owls. And so um, I don't remember what was in it. And I'm sorry that I, I can't share that. Maybe Marissa will share it on her recap of the diamond, uh, the retreat. So anyways, during the um, raffle, I had made a deal with two ladies and they said they didn't need anything that was in the great big one. So if they won it, um, they would exchange it for this. If I was to get this in the raffle, that they would exchange it. And so it's funny, I think Marissa was like fourth or fifth and um, she knew we had made the deal. So she gifted me her raffle item and um, it's these gorgeous elephants. Um, and this is a crafty mint diamond painting that was uh, donated to us again. And so, um, Neither one of them got it. Billy got it, which was fine. The Lord did bless me, and I got a light pad anyways. That's really what I was going for was the big light pad. Um, and then Tina blessed me with that one. So um, I was, I really don't, I don't decorate with elephants. And so I know there is several of you that wanted to come to the retreat, and you were not able to come. And I feel like I was so blessed this weekend by so many people, um, and I felt so loved on. So I want to, in return, I wanna do a giveaway. Um, and I'm gonna give away this canvas that was gifted to me. I am going to give away one of the um, charms that I made, and it's this one. And it's got a sample of washi tape on it. And then I am going to give away one of these tins and um, there's no cover minders in it, but if you want me to make a couple of cover minders, I would, I'll have no problem doing that. I have extra things. A Starbucks gift card. Yeah. Are you gonna sponsor it? Yeah. For how much? Like 10 bucks. Okay, so my daughter is over here and she is going to um, throw in a $10 Starbucks gift card. So you'll get two coffees or fraps on her. So um, anyways, if you win this, if you will, um, of course, you'll have to contact me, but if you'll let me know your name, I will take and I will personalize this tin uh, with my Cricut. I'll cut your name out just like ours is. And so this is mine. And so I will personalize it for you. So what do you have to do to be entered into the drawing? Um, if you will just comment down below, if you have someone that you know would be interested in winning, um, I would love for you to share the link with them. My channel is not very big. There's not very many people that follow me. So if you would like to, you are more than welcome to share it. I would appreciate the shares. If you are not subscribed, I would love for you to join uh, my channel. I don't post very often. 
Um, many of you know that I have a new grandbaby. She's just under a year old and I help her mama by watching her every day. Um, or most every day. There's a few days of the week I'm not watching her right now because her mom's working from home. But um, anyways, I have her almost every day. So it's super busy around here. I don't get to film like I planned to when I started my channel. But I would love for you to um, join in on the giveaway. So um, I would just like to say we would love to have you next year. If you are planning on joining don't wait too long because there were people that waited too long. There were people that didn't know it about it. I think they felt like um, it was an invitation only and it was not an invitation only. Marissa announced it um, over and over and over on her channel during her lives. Um, I think she'd done a special announcement in a video. And so don't wait too long. If you want to be part of it next year, please come join in and be part of the fun. And so until next time, I hope you're blessed and um, don't forget to like and share. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.